If you are a coach or a therapist and you are starting out your practice, today's video is for you. I'm going to share with you the software that I've started using since the beginning of this year, and it has literally changed my practice in the best possible way. My name is Kara McGill. I'm an ADHD coach, and I am here for the busy, ambitious brains that want to get snizzled on, but they don't know which tech to use. So generally, my videos are focused towards women with ADHD, but today I want to get a little bit more specific to those of you in my audience who are practicing coaches or therapists, and you're looking for ways to simplify and streamline your business so that you can offer a seamless experience for your client, give them the best experience possible, and also help you manage your business a little bit better. As somebody with ADHD who has an ADHD-focused audience, I need to keep things super simple and not overwhelming, and I have found that this software has really hit the mark for me. This is also a really affordable software. It's one of the most affordable that I've found on the market. And I do have a discount code below. If you use my link, you'll get a little bit extra off either on the monthly subscription or the annual subscription. So feel free to take advantage of those if you like. But first of all, I just wanna tell you why I chose the software. There's a few things that I thought were most important when choosing a software. Something that's extremely flexible, something that doesn't limit me to the amount of packages that I can offer, or limit me in terms of the amount of clients that I have. Personally, I prefer to use software that doesn't penalize me financially for growing. So that was one of the first reasons why I chose this software. The second reason I chose it was the customer service. It's a small organization and you do get very high touch service, which is excellent. And number three, they have a lot of different capabilities within the software. So I can do group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, I can host webinars. There's a bunch of different things that I can do. And it also tracks my coaching hours. So if you are somebody who's working towards ICF accreditation, that is also gonna be very important to you. It's seamless, it's simple, and it's affordable. Let's get into it and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the dashboard that you're gonna start with. When you first sign up, you're gonna be prompted to connect your account to your existing calendar so that it can interact with your calendar. And if you have existing clients, it will then pick up that archive and then you'll start from this page here. And if you have an archive of clients, then it will show past appointments in this first box here. And if you wanna add new clients here manually, you can do that as well, but it will pick up any clients that you've already had to date. And then you also wanna connect it to whatever payment processor you use. So here's one of the really important things about this software versus a lot of the other ones on the market. Very often, a software will take a cut out of every transaction that you make. So if you charge $100 to somebody, your software might take anywhere between 1% and 5%. And that is what you want to avoid because whatever payment processor you're going to go through is also going to take a cut. So most people use Stripe or PayPal, and usually they will take about 2.9% from every transaction. And there's really no avoiding that process, but what you don't want is a coaching platform that's also taking a cut. So there are no transaction fees whatsoever with the software, which is one of the main reasons why I went with it. So with that said, you wanna connect your account with either PayPal or Stripe, or I recommend using both so that your client can choose which payment processor they would prefer to use. Now let's go through all the various different options within this software. Once you have the account connected to your calendar and you've added in all of your clients and you've connected to a payment processor, then you want to start thinking about the various different ways that you want your clients to schedule appointments with you. So this is their standard template. I changed mine up a little bit, but it was really helpful to have these templates to work from. So what they have for their templates is a 90-minute coaching session, a one-hour follow-up call, and a discovery call. Most coaches use a discovery call, so I kept this one, but I changed it to 20 minutes, not 30. Most coaches have follow-up calls, especially if you sell packages. You want clients to be able to book a first initial call and then additional calls after that. I got rid of this 90-minute coaching session because I don't offer that, but I do offer a one-hour coaching intensive. For anyone who wants to just try out coaching or has something small they want to be coached on and it can be resolved within an hour. But you can add in as many of these as you want. This is also where you will create your availability. So when do you want to accept clients? Do you coach just during the day? Do you coach in the evenings and weekends as well? 
You want to be really thoughtful about the hours you make available to your clients because you don't want random appointments on a Monday night and a Tuesday afternoon. And you also want to think about how far in advance you want people to be able to book appointments. You don't want people to be able to book appointments an hour before the actual scheduled time because you may be out doing something else. So creating boundaries around your coaching business is really important. And this gives you the ability to do that. So you choose your time zone. You can have different availabilities based on seasonality. And then you can decide when are your open hours? When do you want to accept coaching clients? I only coach two days a week. And then you can set up your calendar so that it won't book over top of anything that's already in your calendar. And it also give you parameters so that somebody can't book an appointment like within 24 hours or 48 hours or anything like that. So whatever your preferences are, this will give you the ability to shape your appointments accordingly. So the next area here on the navigation is your contacts. And this is where you can import any existing client databases you have. So let's say you're on a different software right now and you want to switch to practice, then you can export your data as a CVS file and upload it into here and it will recreate all of your client data in your account. But coming out of this, once you have all of your clients set up, you can also set up groups if you want to do group coaching. So you can create a new group, you can enter the name of the group. And then when your clients purchase it, they will all show up right here. Now let's move on to services. One of the cool things about practice is that it will enable you to set up as many packages as you want. You can do monthly recurring packages. So for example, if you have a package where you offer two coaching calls a month and then interaction via the app in between calls, and it's a recurring fee of $500, you could do that through here. Or you could uh, sell a package of five or 10 coaching sessions if you prefer to do that. You can also sell one-off products. So if you have workbooks or digital products or templates or anything that your audience might want to purchase and use for themselves, you can set it up through here as a storefront and you don't have to be a part of it. They purchase the product directly through your link and then you set it up so that it is emailed to them directly and you don't have to deal with any of that process at all. And again, you're not charged any transaction fees for that. The next thing I want to show you are the forms. And this is super cool. There are forms that you can set up that will be automatically sent to your client depending on where they are in the customer journey. So for example, if they sign up for a free discovery call, you can then automatically send them a form to fill out exactly what it is they want to get from coaching and how you can help them. That means when you get on the call, you've already got some information in front of you in their specific account that you can help to guide that discovery call and make it that much easier to figure out if this client is the right person for you. You can also schedule a follow-up email or form to go out after the discovery call if the client has not yet decided whether or not they want to follow through, then you can set up your form to finish that close for you. When a new client does sign up for the first time, you can then create a specific onboarding form that they would fill out so that you have all of the specifics you need in order to help them. Then after each recurring call, you can also set up forms before the call and after the call. This is really great to help prime your client before the call to think about what they want to get coaching on during that session. And it really helps you to hone in on your practice and get right to the point so you can help your client move forward faster. I love all of these automations. You don't even need to think about it. It happens in the background. So you can also ask for testimonial requests after your engagement ends with a client. And this is also the place where you would set up your coaching contract so that you have a PDF that your client can read through and then either agree to the terms and conditions or not. And that's very important to protect both you and your client. So those are all of the forms that are in your business and you can set up as many as you want. And because the software offers automations, you can set it up to occur before and after calls as you see fit. So you don't have to think about what you need to send them next. It will automatically go to their email after your appointment is over. Now let's go into the library. Here's another thing that I love about this system. 
With this software, you have a dedicated resource library. That means you can upload workbooks, worksheets, uh, articles, uh, audio recordings, anything that you want to create that you think might help your client. You can set it up here in a library so you have access to it whenever you want to share it. You have the opportunity to share very specific files with any of your clients that you want. And you also have the opportunity to create folders that are just for you. I am currently building out a resource library for my clients that I use regularly. There are new coaches or new entrepreneurs or professionals who are going through a specific stage of growth in their life. And I have specific tools to help them with. I can store everything in one place and it's very easy and seamless to send things to them whenever I want to. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is super cool, and that is the inbox. So this connects with your email, but it also connects with the app. Now, Practice has an app that you can download and your client can download. They will be prompted to sign into the client-facing side of the app, and you'll be given to the coach side of the app so that you can both interact in the app, and I'll show you all the fun things that you can do with that. Now, I just want to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like behind each client file. Now, I've set this up as a dummy with my name here being the client name. Now, obviously, there's nothing here, but what you would see if uh, I were coaching myself is a record of all of our upcoming appointments, any previous appointments we've had. And the other thing that you can do is create to dos for your clients. So I can do fill out onboarding a survey here if I wanted to. And when the client downloads the app, they have the client facing side of the app. So they will get that as a task. Now, I don't usually create to do's for my clients, but if I have an idea of something I want to share with my client between sessions, I might use this to create an action item that they can take or not take. It's up to them. There's a lot of other functionality you can do within each client portal. So I can set up a new appointment or send them the schedule. I can set up a new form, send them an invoice. Generally, I always charge before services, so I don't use invoices, but that is an option. I can send them different packages. I can add notes and opt to either share those notes with the client or just keep them for my own notes, which I know is helpful for a lot of therapists. Uh, I can add new files to our client portal. So anything that they've done, surveys or questionnaires that is relevant to our coaching experience, I can add to our shared file or my own file for that client. And I can also share links and I can also send them emails. Every message that I send to them through this portal will appear in the app if they choose to use it and also in their email. And any email communication is also pulled into this client document. So you have every interaction with your client in one place, which makes managing your clients so much easier. How awesome was that tour? I have so many good things to say about that software. I am obsessed with it. I only just started using it at the beginning of this year. The year before that, I used Paperbell. It's a great software as well, but I think that this one is much better and I'm so excited about it. And I love how affordable it is. So once again, if you want to use the software or even just the trial, Use my link below to get a discount on the monthly subscription or the annual subscription. And I hope that everything I've provided has been helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below. And if you are a coach with any other questions around starting your business, let me know. I love talking about this stuff and so many of my own clients have these questions. So I thought it'd be useful to record a video. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great day.